Hello my friends, welcome to the Innovation Lab. So in this video, I just wanted to give you guys an update regarding uh, what I'm going to be uh, doing for the next couple of weeks. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos uh, that I've been working on building a uh, all-in-one solar generator. So the plan is to have a solar generator um, that has everything you need from solar panel to solar uh, chargers uh, to your power inverter and your battery pack all in one enclosure. So as you uh, can see in the model that I've made to kind of show how this, uh, what the plan is and what, is, uh, what the design is supposed to look like. So what you see in the model is not the exact representation of the, of the uh, unit when I'm done with it, it's just to show, um, you know, kind of what we're thinking. So, um, so I, I received the last component that I've been waiting for a couple of days ago. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to because it's time to uh, begin the build. So first of all, I would like to thank all my subscribers for showing me all the support and uh, motivation and inspiration and uh, leaving very good comments. I really do appreciate it. So, so yeah, so let's get into it. So what goes into this is, first of all, as I mentioned, so my plan is to have everything in one enclosure. So I had made these solar panels. These are like very flexible solar panels and you can collapse them and stack them up very nice and neatly. So that way you can, uh, it's not gonna be the usual bulky solar panels and uh, that we all know about. And these were built using these solar cells here. These are called the Sun Power Maxim. These are very nice because they have flexible solar cells to, I mean, to a point and um, they are very easy to work with. Um, the usual solar cells that we see out there are very, uh, very fragile and hard to work with. So that makes them almost uh, uh, difficult to work with. And these, uh, you, you kind of tap them using what they call the dog bones. So yeah, so the next item, which is actually what I've been waiting for, is the, uh, it will be the MPPT charge controller. I believe that this is made by a company called the ePaver. I hope I'm saying it correctly, your ePaver. So this can do, this can give us about 20 amps of charging current into the unit and I'm hoping to use it to charge a 24 volt battery. So um, then this unit also comes with uh, kind of a remote uh, uh, control unit that you can plug in uh, using the uh, RS-485 uh, connector uh, cable here. So that way we can see what's going on, control the unit from, uh, from, from outside of the enclosure. And the next component here, which is like one of the most critical components, will be this uh, pure sine wave inverter made by a company called Cry Crypol. I also made a video for it. I've made a few uh, review videos and test videos for it. So you can go check it out and see if you would like to see the testing done on this unit. So it's very strong and uh, this is a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter. And I went this high because I wanted to build a machine that can be useful, actually be useful. Like if you're out in the field, you can you have a need to drive things like uh, um, table saws or drills or anything that could usually um, require a lot of power. This guy can drive it and you can see it in my test video. So, and uh, lastly would be the Lithium phosphate battery packs, these uh, that I've designed to go into this unit, you will look, can also see it in the model. Um, these are two 12 volt lithium phosphate battery packs that will be connected in series to give us a 24 volt uh, system. So yes, also I made a video for this to show kind of how this, uh, these batteries were built. And if you like, you can go check out the video and see for yourself. Yeah, and that's a, this is quite very durable and can handle handle a very lot of uh, loads and 
high ch charging currents and I'm very quite impressed. So lastly here, this is not necessarily going to be going into the unit. I made this as a backup. Actually, I made this a long time ago. So I'm gonna, you know, a backup battery pack just in case. All right, my friends. So that's it in a nutshell. So um, I am hoping um, that I should be able to complete this project in a few weeks from now. So if you would like to see um, what the uh, finished uh, product will look like, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab and um, so that you will get notified when we uh, build this, uh, finish this build and release the video. All right, my friends, uh, thank you uh, again. Thank you for supporting the Innovation Lab. Thank you for being a subscriber. And you like this kind of projects, please subscribe to our channel and um, so that way you get notified. All right, my friends. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.